welcome back to Roy's workshop. As you can tell, we're not in the workshop, we're in the New Holland. Uh, we're carrying off what we did yesterday on the previous episode. We're now going to attempt to use the mole plow and the current attachment that I made for it. Ooh. Going quite slowly because you probably can't see, but down there the blade is about an inch off the ground. And I don't want to go plowing just yet. Um, so yeah, that's about it for now. We'll get set up and I'll get caught with you in a moment. So we're going to give it a bit of a practice run. We're setting it up so it's vaguely vertical before we drop it in the ground. And then we're going to give it a go and see what happens. I'll map you to the outside and so you get a better view. Woohoo! So we've tried it and actually it worked bloody well. I'll quickly show you what we've done. So we started back up here. Nice clean entry point. Hello. And then slowly drove on down. And then we got to we got to about here. And then we thought we'll pull it out, make sure everything looks alright. That's created a bit of a mess, but it'll all it'll all push down nice and uh, nice and neat. And we do think that the pipe will work, which is a, a nice bonus. Steve's just gonna go and grab a spade so we can tidy this up. And then we're gonna try it for real. Which will be interesting. I'm gonna go around here because it might be a bit less windy. Apologise for the wind, I haven't got a microphone or a sound thing for the wind, but hey, such is life. See you in a moment. Please don't ask me to do yours. 
there's always something to do. This shouldn't be flat. So let's quickly jack it up. Just our three ton tipping trailer, quite nice. So I'm going to use the farm jack, sketchy, to jack it up, whip the wheel off, and then we'll take a look inside. Back in a moment. And it's me! This <laughs> is stupid. No. So I've got the tyre in the workshop. I've pumped it up, it's got about 40 psi in it. Um, this is a 750B16 with an inner tube in it, as you'd expect from a vehicle of this era. Uh, it's 8 ply, but for some reason it went down fairly quick and we don't know why. We pumped it up to 40 psi two days ago, used it moving some dirt around and now it's not working. So I'm going to spray some uh, soapy water. Obviously the sideboards are cracked, but there's no particular reason why they wouldn't uh, hold up. I can't hear any hissing. Give it good in the feed. And actually around the valve as well. Um, if it needs a new inner tube, it's no problem. We have the gear, we can do it. We'll lay it on the ground and it's leaning on the next project. We broke the, uh, the grader there the other day. I've got to weld the two tabs back on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no obvious nails in it or anything. Um, sticking out the top of the actual tread. Um, If we can't find any problems with it, we'll just <coughs> stick it back on. Or if we've got any tyre goo, I'm trying to see off camera if I've got any tyre goo. Uh, no, the way we do. Um, if I can't find anything obvious, I'll fill the tube with tyre goo, uh, much like what I did on the international if you haven't seen that it's on instagram before i started doing these youtube videos um i put them in our international front wheel i didn't think it worked but <laughs> i haven't pumped it up and neither is the father-in-law in two three months so i'm going to say that's working and working quite well um so this bead isn't weeping or anything there's nothing obvious hmm. back up Check the tread again. Yeah, the moment at thirty meters. 40 in it now, it's quarter to four. <laughs> As the clocks went back, we'll give it half hour and see what it's like. So it's been about half an hour. Um, I've been off doing other things. Let's see how the old tire. There's no obvious signs, I can't hear anything, can't see any bubbles. But not to mean it doesn't work. Hmm. So it's still at 40. As interest, what I'll do, I'll leave it overnight. Seems to be my go-to thing. Um, we'll check it tomorrow morning and see where we go. If we need to, we'll fill it full of the um, tire sealant and we'll, we'll go from there. So I've got a couple of moments free and actually I'm by the 90. There she is. Um, I thought I'd double check the distributor now before I even get it into the workshop, just in case I need to order some bits. Baymac is still open and they're still delivering, um, which is fantastic. Thank you so much to them. Um, keeping Land Rovers on the road, and I know they do support the emergency services and everyone else that um, everyone's doing. Um, so two seconds, I'll open the bonnet. And you can see what's hiding under here. Uh, check that there, I don't need it. Um, Shazam! So what we have here is a two and a quarter petrol, as I'm sure most of you would recognise. 
Um, this one is uh, okay, perfectly fine. Brilliant little engine. Well, actually, that feels fine. I think it. I think it is the distributor because it, it makes a funny noise when uh, we've got it running. Naturally, I'm going to fire it up and it won't do the same noise. But two seconds, I'll go and grab the keys because I don't have them. One. What's going on here? There's one, and there's the other one. There we go, two seconds, grab the keys. So I've learnt, believe it or not, from earlier when I uh, did the um, series start the other day. Uh, let's give the fuel pump time to wake up. There we go, will do. <laughs> Again. Try to get the truck to stay on. It's a damn thing. Sounds all right. That's right, smoking. Can we go for the boat? Leave it running so it gets warm. It tends to really make the noise when it's warm. Back at the moment. As if by magic, I can't believe it's doing it because I actually want it to happen so I can show you guys. Listen to this. <laughs> and typically it stopped. Okay. So there was a there was a really bad sort of noise coming from and it was a distributor. I managed to find out that it was a distributor. I put my hand on it whilst um, it was making the noise. I could feel it through the vacuum advance. And I couldn't feel it through the block where the distributor mount. So to me, that does sound like it is the distributor. Oh, there it is. Hear it? I can, I can feel that. I can feel it there, but I can't. It's not down there. I can feel it in the rotor cab. I have my hand on both. Yeah, definitely feels that, like, which is good. I, I was hoping it wasn't the spur gear that sits um, just below here. Obviously engaged with the oil pump and the crank and the camshaft. But that to me, it does feel like it is. It is that. So that's something. Uh, as I said, I do have one on the shelf, um, but it is a couple of years old. <sighs> I don't know. I'll have a look on Baymac tonight. I've got a couple of things I need to order anyway. So Baymac, keep your ears to the ground.